go to an institution? Does she need to go? Did he examine her? Dr. Burke says she may be brain damaged. Slightly brain damaged. Well, I told him he was slightly incompetent. And I hope that someday soon he'd be slightly dead. But he claims not to have known she was taken so much. And that's why he's eager to put her away. He's afraid of a malpractice suit. And I told him I was considering the irresponsible shithead. Why did he write her so many prescriptions? Doesn't he know? It's, it's not just him. She's got a doctor in every point. Here's how she does it. She sees a doctor for back spasms and gets a prescription. A day or two later, she goes back and she says she lost her pills and he writes her another one. Then, next week, she pulls a muscle. More pills. Then the dosage is wrong. More pills. Over and over until she makes one too many trips and he says, I'm not prescribing anymore. And then she pulls a sheaf of prescription receipts out of her purse and says, I'll go to the AMA and have her out of court for overprescribing me. She genuinely threatens these men, and they give in to her. See, so you knew this was going on again. Different tactic today, just at a looted vest, this Milton hothouse flower, which made me look like Betty Davis. I was, I was trying to go her into it, you know? Come on, Mom, give me your speech about the greatest generation. <laughs> Tell them about the claw hammer. Made me look like the guy from the cartoon with the frog that only sings for him. It wouldn't have done any good. Dr. Burke's part of the same generation. Oh, greatest generation, my ass. I mean, are they really considering all generations? Maybe there's some generations in the Iron Age that could compete. <laughs> I mean, what makes them so great anyways? Because they were poor and they hated Nazis? I mean, who doesn't fucking hate Nazis? <laughs> Remember that time we, uh, Checked her in the sideboard, that stunt she pulled. Oh, which time? I wasn't there. Big speech. She's getting clean, this sacrifice she's making for her family. All right, she's let her family down. Now she's going to prove she's a good family member. She smuggled Darvisette into the sideboard in her vagina. <laughs> I mean, there's your greatest generation for you. She was giving us this whole speech while she had a bottle of pills stuck up her cooch, for God's sake. <laughs>